thank you for watching our channel, JMD Janitorial. Today's video is the final episode, episode three of the series, How to Service Your Customers with High Quality Cleans. The link for episode one and two is listed in the description below. And without further delay, let's get right into this video. It is very important whenever you're cleaning, dealing with chemicals that you have on your proper PPE. It's going to be your gloves, preferably nitro gloves and proper eye protection. Whenever you're wiping any interior glass, you want to start from the top and work your way down to the bottom. Lightly apply disinfectant to the sink and the countertop. Allow the disinfectant to sit for five to 10 minutes. Using a clean cloth or paper towel, dry the countertop. Spray disinfectant on the toilet allow to sit for five to ten minutes then using a clean piece of paper towel dry the toilet seat apply disinfectant to the urinals allow to sit for five to ten minutes then using a clean piece of paper towel dry the urinals in addition to that there is a partition between the two urinals. Spray disinfectant on the partition and wipe dry. Using a lobby broom, remove all debris from the restroom floor. Always check behind the garbage can for any debris that may have fallen behind it. Place caution wet signs at the entrance of the restroom. Then lightly apply damp mop cleaning solution to the restroom floor. Using a microfiber flat mop pad, finish mopping the restroom floors. Welcome to ReviewTube. This is Robin DeWin here to spotlight a janitorial service in your area. Earning a five-star rating on Google, JMD Janitorial has distinguished itself among Ewing residents. Google user Lisa says, everyone that I have come into contact with from this company is very friendly and professional. I am treated with respect. I would highly recommend this company to anyone looking for a cleaning job well done. Thanks for sharing with us, Lisa. This has been Robin DeWin with another reputation profile on ReviewTube. As we proceed to the next part of the building that we're currently servicing, it's going to take us right into the fitness center. Once we're in the fitness center, using a one-step disinfectant and a microfiber cloth, we're going to wipe down the equipment. In addition to wiping down the equipment, we're also going to wipe the window sills. Now here comes the fun part, the VCT floors. Using damp mop, we're gonna lightly spray our microfiber flat mop pad and we're just going to go over the floor to remove that thin layer of dust that normally remains on the surface. This may take a few trips up and down the hallway, but it will properly prepare the floor for the final mop.
it is important to disinfect wipe all high touch areas throughout your customer's location. This includes the elevator buttons. As I exit the elevator, I'm encountered with another entry point. Using a clean microfiber rag and disinfectant, I wipe the door handles, more interior glass. Always start from the top of the glass and go side to side. Open the door, hit the high point touch areas, All of these nuances will certainly keep your customers satisfied. Using disinfectant in a clean microfiber rag, again, clean the key badge security entry. Hit the bar handles on the doors and the Pure Rail dispenser. Thank you for watching our channel, JMD Janitorial. And this concludes our video. The last episode, number three, in the series of how to service your customers with high quality cleans. Today, I showed a wide array of tasks that will be completed by a day porter in a large corporate office. Once again, I'll drop the link to episode one and two in the description below. If you haven't done so already, now will be a good time to subscribe to our channel, JMD Janitorial.